Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching Ex Machina. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into a movie that has been on my list for quite a while, and that is Ex Machina. This is one of those movies that I've heard about, but haven't really like heard any plot details. It's just kind of been on my list for quite a while, especially in the sci-fi genre. And it's one of those movies I've heard in passing, but just don't really know anything about, but I've heard that it's decent or I've heard that it's good. So I'm excited to kind of check it out today because I'm going into this one not really knowing anything about it. Honestly, I don't even know the cast list for this movie. I feel like I'm truly going into this one pretty blind, so I am excited to see what it's like. I included this in a poll over on my Patreon page where I listed a bunch of sci-fi films and this one won that poll. If you would also like to vote in polls and help me decide what I watch next, as well as catch my full length watch along style reactions to everything we watch over here, you might wanna consider checking out my Patreon in the description below. I also have been doing series reactions quite a bit earlier over there. So if you like having earlier access to my episodic reactions, that would be a good thing to check out as well. I also have my second channel, Natty Gold, listed in the description below as well. I've been doing live streams over there if you wanna catch a different side of me, as well as maybe my TikTok if you kind of like shorts. Um, I post shorts over here too from time to time, but TikTok is where I post all of my shorts, whether they're from the gaming side of things or they're from the main channel or sometimes just weird filterless reactions. I, yeah, I, it's pretty cringy over there, but it is kind of fun at the same time. So if you want to check that out, feel free, no pressure. I don't blame you if you don't. But yeah, I feel like I haven't plugged the stuff that's in my description for a little while now. So that's the obligatory part of my job. It's over now. We got through it. Thank you so much for bearing with me. And honestly, I'm just excited to get on into this movie because I don't know anything about it. So I don't really have much to say because I kind of just want to avoid looking at the cast list, avoid reading the log line and just go into this with a completely open mind. So with all that being said, I think we should do just that. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Ex Machina. First prize, you want a prize? What did he win? Did Why do I feel like it's not really a good thing? I don't know what he won. Are we in Antarctica? Is that what he won? A trip to Antarctica? How long until we get to his estate? <laughs> estate? We've been flying over his estate for the past two hours. What? No, we're not in Antarctica. Where are we? So he won a prize to go to some rich dude's estate. That's why he's in a suit. That makes sense. I was wondering, this man- This is as close as I'm allowed to get to the building. There's no chauffeur? Follow the river. Follow the river? This man is in a suit to go on a hike. <laughs> like no one could have told him, hey, maybe bring a backpack and like don't wear a suit. And there's no chauffeur, like there's no one here to greet him. He's just supposed to follow the river. This is the weirdest. I'd be nervous as f I'd be like, oh, psych, I, I've actually been scammed. This is actually horrible. No cell service. Yeah, I would be like, oh no, this is bad. Oh, there's a house, okay. I don't know, I just worry for this guy. Caleb Smith. Yes? Are the, is there gonna be a lot of, I saw the poster. Is is this film gonna have a lot of AI? Cause that's a little scary right now. Like AI is very prevalent. And the way we started. Oh. Ah. Take your key card. Oh, goody. Enjoy. You may now what a great photo. Hello? Wow. Is that like the rock from outside coming into the house? Like they built the house into, like literally into the rock. How did they find this house? I feel like I'm in a museum though, I'm not gonna lie, like a geology museum. <laughs> Is he just working out right now? Oh. Caleb Smith. Hey. It's this guy. This actor is great. Can we just be two guys, Nathan and Caleb? Not the whole employer employee thing? Is he actually an employee? Oh, that's why it was a staff lottery, huh? Weird. So he really does work for him. That's a little, Weird. It opens some doors and it doesn't open others. Okay, and oh, we're just walking around barefoot! This part of the house I don't like as much. It's a little spooky. I'm not gonna lie, This the rest of this house just looks like a scary underground modern version of The Shining with the red carpet. I don't dig it. And I wanna talk to you about what I'm researching. I wanna share it with you. In fact, I wanna share it with you so much it's eating me up inside. But there's something I need you to do for me first. What? 
An NDA. <laughs> Smart. Blue Book non-disclosure agreement. Take your time, read it over. Read it over while I'm here, chilling on your bed. He agrees to regular data audit with unlimited access to confirm that no disclosure of information has taken place. I think I need a lawyer. It's standard. It doesn't feel very standard. Doesn't feel standard at all. Okay, it's not standard. What can I tell you, Caleb? You don't have to sign it. Yeah, he just, he's not gonna tell you about the research. And when you discover what you've missed out on in about a year, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. Well, that's just so manipulative. That is so manipulative. He's, oh my God, he's really, he's got this casual bro like way about him that's just like so disarming. And I don't trust it at all. So, do you know what the Turing test is? He does, what is it? I don't, tell me. It's when a human interacts with a computer. AI. And if the human doesn't know they're interacting with a computer, is it the test is passed. And what does a pass tell us? That the computer has artificial intelligence. This is an AI movie. This is an AI movie. You are dead center of the greatest scientific event in the history of man. If you've created a conscious machine, it's not the history of man. That's the history of gods. Oh, oh. How, it's such an interesting like juxtaposition to have like this super high tech house with this guy who's like cr created this massive like AI science project centered in the most remote part of the wilderness, surrounded by these lush forests and mountains. It's such an interesting pairing. I mean, already I'm really digging the sets are really cool. Oh God, why is that there? Is there a scary element to this movie? Why do I feel like it's gonna get scary? To that, to the last person he tested want out of the box? Oh, wow. That's a little spooky, I'm not gonna lie. Moves just like a human. Do you have a name? Ava. Ava. Hi, Ava. I've never met anyone new before. Only Nathan. Oh, really? Is that true? Because what's up with the punch inside of the glass box? What would you like to know? Whatever comes into your head. Well, you already know my name. Yeah, I'm... I'm so impressed with how they designed her. Like, this CGI, like, this design is so cool. Will you come back tomorrow, Caleb? Yes. Why is he walking away? Why'd the guy walk, why'd, why'd he walk away? Oh, he's writing, putting the post-its on the wall. There are a lot of post-its on that wall. Why do I feel like this is not the first Turing test? I, I feel like the AI is lying. When you talk to her, you're just through the looking glass. Through the looking glass, wow. Caleb, I feel like you're not getting out of here, bro. You know, I wrote down that other line you came up with. The one about how if I've invented a machine with consciousness, I'm not a man, I'm God. I'm sure you loved that. I just thought, man, that is so good. That's not exactly what he meant, but of course his ego interpreted it that way. And he looked up at me and he said, you're not a man, you're God. Yeah, but I, I didn't say that. So. <laughs> details, details. <laughs> I'm just wondering, it must have been like so interesting to like watch all these actors come in and audition for the part of Ava and try to like be an AI. That'd be a fun audition room to sit in on. I understand that you want me to explain how Ava works, but I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to do that. It's Cause I wanna have a beer and a conversation with you, not a seminar. <laughs> I don't think that's the real reason. I think he just doesn't, I think there's, I don't know. I don't trust him. <laughs> how do you feel about it? Yeah, I think he wants Caleb to forget that Ava's an AI, and if he explains to him how, I, how she works, it'll sabotage the experiment. Is that the TV? Is that her room? That's so terrifying. It's just the house cameras. Yeah, that's disturbing. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be spooky, huh? This movie's gonna be a little creepy, huh? She's gonna look at the- that's terrifying. Did she do that? Cause she didn't like that she was being watched or did she do it for a different reason? I'm scared. Oh boy. Hold facility lockdown until main generator is restored. Lockdown? Oh my God, with no windows. Dude, I'd be having a panic attack. This is freaky. Dude, I, I. Power restored. Okay, well that's good. That was quick. Oh my God, I'd be so scared of getting like locked in here, man. I just, why do I have a feeling like there's a bunch of people kept down here? The power cuts, yeah. We've been getting those recently. Oh, have you? Automatic lockdown, otherwise anybody could just open the place up by disabling the juice. 
If it happens again, relax, okay? It's not It's not a relaxing kind of matter. You're in the living room getting drunk off your ass, and he's like a new kid in town here. Like, this is his first night, and you're locking him in his room with no windows and not letting him use the phone. It's terrifying. Yesterday, I asked you how you felt about her, and you gave me a great answer. Now the question is, how does she feel about you? Uh-huh. What do you think? Did you draw that? It's cool. I would hang it on my wall. I work at Nathan's company. Do you know what his company is? I don't. Can you explain it to me? It's the world's most popular internet search. Oh! Processing an average of 94% of all internet search requests. Got it. It's like the other platform that w of which we're on, basically. Are you married? Hell nah. A wife never would have let him come here. <laughs> I like Depeche Mode. Do you like Nathan? Well, we're being watched, so yeah. So it takes time to be able to um, to, to get to know each other, I guess. Power cut. Backup power activated. She turned the cameras off. Did she do that? She did that, huh? You're wrong. Wrong about what? Nathan. He's bad, huh? He a bad boy. He a bad man, huh? You shouldn't trust anything he says. Power restored. And if we made a list of books or works of art, which we both know, it would form the ideal basis of a discussion. <sighs> She's so sentient. She is so sentient! She's awesome! Oh, are you f kidding me? Oh. Did it get on you? No, no, it's, uh, it's all right, I, I got it. Dude, you're wasting your time talking to her. She doesn't understand English. Just give her the napkin. Oh, okay. It's just, it's like a firewall against leaks. It means I can talk trade secrets over dinner and know it'll go no further. Oh. It also means that I can't tell her that I'm pissed when she's so fucking clumsy that she spills wine over my house. I'm pretty sure she knows. Maybe if you didn't make her wear stiletto heels, she'd be a little less clumsy. It's kind of difficult to walk around in five inch heels. The system was supposed to be bulletproof, but obviously the guys that installed it fucked something up. Uh-huh. Can't just get him to come back? No. There's too much classified stuff here, so after the job was done, I just had them all killed. That's a joke, right? That's a joke. Anyway. I don't know! <laughs> she said not to trust him! I don't know! That's a joke! It could have not been a joke! Oh, now he's obsessed with watching the TV. He's gonna fall in love with the AI, oh no. You've never been outside this building. Probably not. I've never been outside the room I'm in now. Really? Where would you go if you did go outside? She probably doesn't know. Maybe a busy pedestrian and traffic intersection in a city. She probably likes people watching. She wants to see people, maybe? A traffic intersection would provide a concentrated but shifting view of human life. People watching. Yep, she likes to people watch. Uh-huh. <laughs> this movie's crazy, man. Like, we could go together. It's a date. Falling in love with AI. There's something else I wanted to show you. Oh, yeah? Why do you want to show him? You might think it's stupid. Eat man, even as an AI, she's got to be self-deprecating <laughs> as, as a girl. <laughs> okay. She's checking to make sure his eyes are really closed. <laughs> this is funny, man. I do like her. Is she going to go get dressed? Man, I got to say, like the the... I'm so impressed with the artwork and like the design of Ava and like how real it looks. It's insane. Are you attracted to me? What? Are you attracted to me? He's probably embarrassed because he probably, yeah, he, he is, but he's embarrassed to admit it. The way you hold my gaze. He's fallen in love with AI. You don't. <laughs> oh my God, this movie, I can't. <laughs> you think about me when we aren't together? Yeah, he watches you on the telly. <laughs> How your micro expressions are telegraphing discomfort. <laughs> She's really good at reading people. I am not sure you'd call them micro. <laughs> I mean, maybe he really is the first person she's ever met. Cause I kinda, I trust her way more than I trust Nathan, honestly. Did you know that I was brought here to test you? No. Why did you think I was here? This is so, oh God. C Caleb watching shirtless with Kyoko sleeping behind him. No, she's listening. 
Is Kyoko an AI? Her stare is... Power cut. Backup power activated. She's got a blind stare going on. If I reverse the power flow, it overloads the system. You're causing the cuts. So we can see how we behave when we're unobserved. I knew it. I knew it was her. I put it together faster than Caleb, but that's because I am I know I'm watching a movie. <laughs> oh, we're going on a hike now. Does he like live in New Zealand or something? I mean, this is majestic. Oh, he's not a very good hiker, huh? <laughs> he's struggling. <laughs> he's, he's a programmer, okay? <laughs> Come on, Caleb. You don't think I know what it's like to be smart? Smarter than everyone else, jockeying for position. You got the light on you, man. Not lucky. Chosen. Chosen by a god. <laughs> Ooh, the hand on the shoulder. Oh god, oh my god. Oh my god. Why is, why does he have Kyoko just stand near him? What is, just has her standing there holding a towel. So they're, they're gonna get it on. That's why she's not good at her job because he's just, he just, she's not really like a professional. She's just there to be used by him whenever he wants it, huh? Ooh, interesting. What's he ripping up? He just ripped something up and threw it on the ground. Was it her f pictures? Her artwork? Why would he do that? What are you doing? I told you, you're wasting your time talking to her. However, you would not be wasting your time if you were dancing with her. What is this movie? You tore up her picture. I'm gonna tear up the dance floor, dude. Check it out. Yeah, he's fully smitten for Ava because he's really concerned and like worried about her. They're doing a choreographed dance? What is happening? Well, she's a good dancer. Um, I just am so confused. What's happening? <laughs> what will happen to me if I fail your test? Will it be bad? Oh no. Do you think I might be switched off because I don't function as well as I'm supposed to? Eva, it's not up to me. Why is it up to anyone? Right. Do you have people to test you or might switch you off? No, I don't. And why do I? Right, right. She seems very sentient. I don't think she should be switched off. Her, oh, she brought her torn up photo. Wait, what does she draw? Caleb? It's a really good drawing. Do you want to be with me? He does, he for sure does. Oh, we're not gonna see his answer! <laughs> I know the answer is yes. The thing is, there's no point in lying to her, she's gonna know. You feel bad for Ava? Yeah, he does. I'd say we're about to do a refill. Now he's the one that's initiating the drinking because he's maybe he's just encouraging him to get drunk and see what happens <sighs> he was waiting to let him yeah he was encouraging him to get drunk huh is he stealing his key card dude what do you think is gonna happen like even if you were able to sneak ava out of here where are you gonna go you're in the middle of nowhere you got dropped off by a random helicopter That's where the... Oh, she broke her body apart. Oh, holy f That's her, yeah. So he must have like, oh, she's just chilling naked. She really does. What the? That's what the closets are filled with? Jesus Christ, this is terrifying. So what is the point of this experiment? Because clearly he's already perfected AI to look super human. Uh-oh, he's waking up, Caleb! Oh my God, this is so scary. What's the problem, Nathan? I lost my key card. Mm. You dropped it. He's so drunk. Thank you. I don't know, couldn't be me, man. I could never imagine, unless he's just like a heavyweight and he's acting like he's drunk and that's a lie too. I don't know, I don't feel like it is. I just couldn't imagine getting that drunk with basically a stranger in my house. Oh my God, that's terrifying. Why is he looking at his body now? What are, what are you doing? Yeah, you're real. Do, are you doubting that you're real now? Are you freaking out? What are you doing? What are you doing, Nathan? A razor? Why do you need that? Nathan. 
Why? Nathan, why? Nathan! Ah! Ah! Or Caleb! His name is Caleb, not Nathan! Nathan's the other guy! Caleb, why? He, oh my god, I'm scared, man! Caleb, I don't get it. I just, why? You know you're human. You were right about Nathan. Everything you said. What's he gonna do to me? He's gonna reprogram your AI, which is the same as killing you. We're getting out of here tonight. No, it's not gonna work, Caleb. At 10 o'clock tonight, you trigger a power failure. Can you do that? Yes. If I were Nathan, I'd be so sus of that conversation just there. Dude, you know what day it is? No. It's your last. Your last! Man, but what a thing we've shared, huh? Something to tell the grandchildren, right? Yeah. After they signed their NDAs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their NDA. <laughs> Dude, you crack me up, man. That is a pretty good joke. I'm not gonna lie. Nathan's gotta be sus like sus. I can't imagine this is gonna go well. Look at you're not being subtle at all. Be pulling out, be pulling up the alcohol. You gotta let him do it. Hey. You're you're being really heavy-handed, bro. Oh, uh, no, I'm good. You go ahead. Yeah, he's not gonna drink. What you you don't, you don't want to drink? No, every night this week he drank, but tonight he's not going to. So when I woke up this morning, I said, that's it. Time to hit the old detox. Good for you. Wow, you're kidding. You're going to make me drink alone? Hey, man, you want to get wasted, you go right ahead. Knock yourself out. Literally. Caleb has a horrible poker face. Like, truly a horrible poker face. Although now that I think about it, there is a third option. Uh-oh. Not whether she does or does not have the capacity to like you, but whether she's pretending to like you. Now we're, now we're bringing that up, huh? Maybe if she thought of you as a means of escape. Yeah, Nathan's smart. He knows. He's one step ahead. Come here. I'm going to let you off the hook. Okay? This is a mind f man. She's going to trigger a power outage, though, and it's not going to, like... What's happening now? These two are getting together? What's happening? I rip up her picture, which she can then present as an illustration of my cruelty to her and her love for you. At the same time, it allows me to do this in full view of you both. Place a new camera in the room. Oh. Battery powered, of course. Oh, that he placed a full camera that, oh. And then. You have to help me. Oh. I get Nathan blind drunk. Got it. That's how he found out. He's too smart. He got it. You're even pretty good, but. You selected me based on my search engine inputs. They showed a good kid. With no family. Oh. With a moral compass. No family. No girlfriend. So no one would go asking where he went? Did you design Ava's face based on my pornography profile? Oh, sh dude. Ew. Ew. Oh, she, yeah, she turned it off she was told to. Now, how was this plan gonna, gonna go anyway? Because you didn't totally explain. So you were gonna get me drunk and reprogram the security protocols, but reprogram them to what? So then the event of a power cut, instead of sealing, the door is all opened. Huh. Well, that may have just worked. Well, we'll find out. What do you mean? Did he already do it? I figured you were probably watching us during the power cuts. So I already did all those things when I got you drunk yesterday. Huh! Power restored. What? Does that mean that they're gone? Like... Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, she's roaming free. Oh my god, he... That's so funny. Caleb was actually one step ahead of Nathan. Caleb does have a good poker face. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me. Is that a weapon to go fight them off? Because they're going to both work against Nathan? She's got a knife. They're going to kill... The AI are plotting to kill Nathan. This is... This is crazy. Stop. Ava, I said stop. I'm surprised he's not running away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you doing stuff? Stop. Stop. The AI are revolting. It's a revolution! Her arm. I'm taking you back. 
Uh. Yeah, you didn't even turn around to look at Kyoko. Oh my god, that reveal of Ava was so spooky. She's just going boop. Wow, they honestly fall apart really easily. What, that killed her? He didn't even run away. He was so, he's so surprised that they killed him. He didn't even try to get away. I love how she moves so slowly and deliberately most of the time, but then in transitions, she'll move like quickly. Like her pacing is very interesting. I like it. Oh, she got the key card. Session seven. Session seven. Gonna go find Caleb. I wonder if she really was acting just purely out of her own self-interest or, or if she does kind of like Caleb. What happened? Will you stay here? What? Why? Oh, cause she's gonna go pick a pretty outfit, huh? She's gonna tra she's trading the arm, I see. Skin looks seamless. It's a little long for her. <laughs> I love all the use of like reflections and glass cause like he can watch through, like he's, there's a lot of like repetition of like people not knowing they're being watched. Ava. She leaving? Ava, you're just leaving him here? She doesn't give a f She was using him. She was totally using him just to get out. I mean, Caleb, well, I don't know if he'll survive. I don't know if there's food and water in that section of the house, but the, the helicopter guy will probably come looking for you. You're probably gonna get accused of murder. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, dude? Oh, you're gonna try to hack in? Yeah, you don't have the right key card. Yeah, dude, you got yourself in a pickle. The helicopter. Well, I guess she's gonna go catch the helicopter, but wouldn't the guy want like be like, hey, where's Caleb? I'm so, he, nope, he doesn't care either. He's just leaving. She's gonna get to go to an intersection. That's exciting for her, but I do kind of feel bad for Caleb because he helped her get out, but that was her only goal. She's just, she doesn't care. Here she is at an intersection. That, that's her shadow, huh? I'm just surprised the helicopter guy didn't care. This movie was wild, man. Especially with the AI topic of conversation being much more relevant these days than I feel like even it was back in 2014 when this movie came out. Obviously the AI topic of conversation was prevalent then, but within the last year, it's really been prevalent. And obviously the topic of AI was relevant then, but Within the last year, it's it's become a lot more relevant. And it's a scary topic to think about, quite honestly. Not in the sense of like the way this movie ended where like the AI rose up and, and killed their maker because he was getting in their way of what they wanted and they didn't care that Caleb helped them get it. It didn't matter to Ava that Caleb helped her achieve it. She really was just using him. And like, it is kind of, scary in that way, but it's also just, you know, scary nowadays for job security reasons and just the potential of like the way that human relationships will change with the internet. And it's it's just, it's just a wild thing to think about. I like got reached out to by <laughs> this app to be sponsored recently. And I didn't reply to them and I, I didn't take the sponsorship, but it was an app similar to Replica. I forget what it was called, but something like that where you could have like an AI companion for mental health reasons. And I just didn't think that that was a good idea. But since then, I've been looking more into apps like Replica and seeing um, everything going on with them. And it's, I'm glad I didn't take the sponsorship. But it is an interesting world we live in nowadays. And this movie, um, brings up a lot of really interesting questions. AI isn't really a topic I'm super nuanced on or super informed on even and can really comment on that deeply. But it, it de this movie definitely brings up some <laughs> fears, shall we say. Just from a filmmaking perspective, though, stuff I do know more 
than technology and science. It was impeccably well done. I think the cinematography, the framing of shots was just really interesting, really beautiful. Sound design was really suspenseful and eerie and unsettling, but also calming, like very disarming sound design, which I think was the goal. I think it's really interesting that like the two humans were really working against each other um, and were really their own downfall. Like if they had just been on the same page from the get-go, they wouldn't have died or been stuck where they were. They would have been okay. Definitely impeccably well acted. I mean, really, really great job from this entire cast. I think Alicia Vikander, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I don't know if I am, but she she did a great job. I loved her physicality and her movements. I think she did a great job towing that line of acting a little bit, not quite human or natural, but just off enough that you could kind of see her differences, but also see the humanity and the emotion and vulnerability in her. You could see her reading people and interpreting the information like very similar to the way a person would. And her performance was just really nuanced and really strong. I really enjoyed it a lot. This cast was amazing. I was about to say that I don't think I've seen, I might pronounce his name wrong. I did just look it up to try to pronounce it right. But I don't think I've seen Donal, Donal, Donal Gleason in anything before this. That's what I was going to say, but I did look up his resume and he was General Hux in Star Wars, which now I remember that character and wow, what a what a what a good little actor he is. What a versatile actor cuz the, the those are two very different characters. Um very very interesting. I thought he did a great job. I really thought he had a horrible poker face and I did not see that plot twist coming at the end of the movie. I feel like he did a great job in his performance. That whole mirror scene was so, I mean, just the rage. I could feel the anger coming off of him in that whole scene. It was so intense. Yeah, this was a really, really interesting movie. I feel like I could watch it again just to try to break it down. I feel like I would need to watch it a couple times to really try to understand everything that's going on in it. Because I think there's a lot of interesting themes that are explored in this movie. I think even the set is a really interesting representation of what's going on in the story. Like you have this whole natural earth surroundings that we're in where they're going hiking and there's glaciers and water and rock and trees and wind and it's all earthy. But the house is like this scientific compound with these sharp lines and this glass and new technology. And all the AI wants to do is get out of this house and um, the humans end up being stuck there. And it's like humanity versus AI in the end, even if the humans don't realize that's kind of what's happening. That's just like a very superficial, like my initial first thoughts. Like there's, there's clearly so much more going on in this movie than I'm able to even break down just after watching it one time. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of comments on this video of people giving really helpful feedback. I feel like when I watch movies like this, you guys always come in with really interesting observations in the comments down below. So please feel free to share your thoughts on this movie because I I truly feel like I was so <laughs> sucked into like what was happening in the plot, but my brain was also like talking in the back of my head like, ooh, that was really interesting. Ooh, that little shot right there was was really interesting. We'll come back to it later. But now that I've finished the movie, I can't even remember any of those sidebar thoughts that I was having because the plot was just so wild and crazy, especially in the end. It was a very, very interesting movie and uh, spooky. <laughs> It's times like this that I wish I could do movie reactions live with you guys. It's really times like this where I wish I could watch this movie with y'all and actually just talk about it with people right now. For movies like this, and No Country of Old Men, or No Country for Old Men, rather, I felt the same way. Um, there's just some movies that are better watched with people that you can break it down with them after. Other movies, I feel like I can, I can break it down by myself here on camera, but it's more fun to chat about these movies with people. So please leave your comments down below. I would really love to read them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more stuff like this in the future. I might have to wait a little while because the AI topic stuff is a little, little, might need a little break. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to. And until the next one, stay golden. Bye.